you ain't never had the bad boy to date you. You a bad man, daddy gotta spank you. My fresh out the pen, he might shake you. Alright fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now we have some crazy, crazy news. This man, Joe Biden, done dropped out the race, all right? He done dropped out the race, and he done made a whole little statement about, you know, his dropout or whatever. And then I think they passing over to Kamala Harris or Camila. I don't know. I don't even care what her name is, bro. I, I really don't. Camila, Kamala, Tapata, Tefila, the woman who laughs at the wrong times. Like, yeah, we gonna call her that. You feel me? She's weird. But anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyways, so he done dropped out the race now. This video, I don't even want to make it about Joe Biden for real, okay? I'm actually glad he, he he lowered his pride and he dropped out. And, you know, passed that baton over to Trump because it's time for this country to be better again, okay? But, no, this video ain't even about that. I want to play what Joy Reid done said about this whole tire thing that just came out, okay? Apparently, she blaming Biden being kicked from the, the presidency race on white people. She's blaming it on some of y'all, bruh. She blaming it on white people, fam. I ain't never seen nothing like it before, man. But y'all know Joy Reid, bro. She she's something else. But anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. We gonna watch this and let's see what she's talking about, man. Let get it, let go. Note that it is black and brown Democrats who are opposing this push out. I think there's one African American Democrat who's for pushing Biden out, and note that it is consultants and non-people of color <laughs> Democrats who are on the other side. Just an interesting thing to note. And uh, the last thing I'll note is, where are the voters who are being asked about this and also the people who would have the job of actually getting out this vote? They're not being asked. No one's asking them. Apparently the donors and the sort of elite Dems are just kind of doing their own thing. We're trying to be a Democrat. Let me know what you think in comments. Note that it is black bro. and brown. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 bro, I got so many questions. Number one, oh, why is it about race? Why, like seriously, why is it about race? Number two, why are y'all even still considering this man to be the next president? He's 81,000 years old. Like, I, like forget his policies. I don't look look like I, I say this every single video. I am not no politician. I'm just here for the truth. Okay. Whatever is truth, that's what I stand with. I stand I stand with truth. That's it. All this politics and picking sides and all. See, I ain't with that. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, I used to be, but now the new me uh, I ain't with that picking sides. No, no, no. I'm just standing for truth. And it seems like majority of the truth stands with the rights. But Besides the right, the left, because the, besides all of that nonsense, bro, we are talking about a man who is 81 years old running for presidency for next year, 2025. Like, I, like, I mean, does this not make sense? Like, I mean, why would I want someone to be my president? Like, I don't even want him to be my president now. He's 81 years old, fam. You put him in office for another four years. Like, I'm just saying, bro. Like, what? Make it make sense. How are you guys even still voting for this man? And then you put it on race in a non-African. Like, what, bro? What does have to do with anything with race? Joe Biden is an old man. He needs to go take care of his health. He needs to go repent. He needs to get his life to Jesus. He needs to get back in church. He needs to find God again. Like, we can't have people running this country that don't even know God because they put policies in place that are not of God. They they align things. They, they put more LGBT facts up than the American flag that is not of God. Why would I want to vote for that person to begin with? Like, I'm just saying, bro. Like, we have to just come back to common sense. We have to kind of bring our way back to just having some type of common sense of, like, Okay, well, even though I'm a Democrat, I'm not a Democrat. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm not neither. I look, I just vote for truth. Okay, and that, and that, that person I'm voting for is Donald Trump, cause he, he, he gives out truth. He, he's, he has a lot of policies that align with biblical principles. That's who I want to run this country. Okay, you feel me? And I just pray that God leads him 
so that way he can run the country the best he can run it. Because, again, he's still human. He still has flaws. I don't expect him to be perfect, 100% perfect, but I expect this country to be better than what it is today. Okay, that's simple as that. But I believe that he would do it by trusting in God and by aligning himself with God. But he has to do that on his own. I could pray for it, but he has to do that on his own. But like I was saying, I don't even know what I was saying. I don't even know how I got into that. But seriously, I like I'm just saying, bro, like the, this whole this whole narrative of like the, the white people, like I, I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it personally. Maybe my mind is different, but come on, man. This ain't got nothing to do with white folks. This ain't got nothing to do with they ain't got nothing to do with race. This is a man who's 81,000 years old and we just don't want him to run a country again. Simple as that. We we are man, we are out here living bad right now, bro. I mean, bro, it's more homeless people than ever, bro. We living bad out here, bro. People cannot people cannot afford to live in this economy today, bro. They can't. We're barely making it. I don't know what what Joe Biden thought when he said that uh Americans have money, they just don't want to spend it. Sir, most of my money is going towards my food and my bills. I don't have no type of money to spend extra on nothing else. Like, I'm just saying. Seriously, so I don't know what Joe Biden meant by that, but man, Joy Reid, bro, you need help. You need help. You feel me? I want to read a little bit of this letter, right? Uh, Joe Biden posted like this little letter or whatever, so I want to read a little bit of it. Um, so yeah, so this is Joseph R. Biden Jr., July twenty first, twenty twenty four. I know he didn't write this. I know he didn't. Know how he speaks? I, I just know he didn't write this. It probably been a whole bunch of just a whole bunch of stuttering, and it probably wouldn't be a lot of like nice words in here like you know what i'm saying like i just know joe biden didn't write this but my fellow americans over the past three and a half years we have made great pro i, I don't even want to read it no more <laughs> what we made great progress as a nation today america has the strongest economy in the huh We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation and lowering prescription drug costs for seniors and expanding affordable health care to record to uh, to a record number of Americans. We provide a critically needed care to a million veterans expo uh, ex exposed to toxic substance, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman. You see how the Democrats are always trying to put something about black something in there? Like, they got those something about African-American. Something about African-American got to be somewhere in there. Uh, what else? And, and passed the the uh, the most significant climate climate le uh, legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are. To okay, I'm done reading. I'm done reading. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. What? What? <laughs> Bro, do they be believing their own lies sometimes? Like, I'm just like, do they believe their own lies? Like, uh, like for real. Do these people believe their own lies? I don't get it, man. But look, real talk. Shout out to Joe Biden for dropping out. And this is not me saying this in a way like this, bro. I didn't like the policies that Joe Biden had. You feel me? I feel like us being under Joe Biden, we was torn as a as a country. Like this country has been in the worst state since I like everything that's happening right now. I'm 21, so a lot of things that probably happened before my time, I didn't like. I didn't get a chance to like you know uh, see or anything like that. So. Just the fact that some of the stuff that's happening now under the Biden administration and under everything that Biden has put in place is like, bro, I say that this is the worst. You feel me? Because like growing up, I was we was under Trump. So a lot of times in life, I didn't even see the good that Trump was really doing because I was too busy focused on what the Internet was saying about Trump. But going back now and reading the stuff that he did, I'm like, whoa, hold on. America was like this. But I didn't get a chance to really experience that because I was so focused on what everyone's saying about Trump. And I wasn't really I'm still not into politics, but it's good to even know about certain stuff because you want to know who's running the country. You want to know who like you want to know, like who's in office. You feel me? So like I was saying, though, like regardless of the fact of all the policies and everything, Joe Biden, I really want you to like and I know you're not going to see this, but I really want Joe Biden to simply focus on his health focus on your health my boy like seriously bro you get an old in age and i believe that god used you for a se god used you for a season to be able to run this country the way you did but however i still believe that you need to repent turn away from 
all the wicked things that you have continued to do in your life or continue to do in your life and, and, and really turn to Jesus for real. Like the way that the world is going, I know that Jesus Christ, his coming is he's coming back. You feel me? I just know he's coming back. So right now it's the time that Joe Biden It's the time that you take time for yourself and really get a back aligned with God, get aligned with God. I don't know if you ever was, but get, <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. I need to stop. Okay. But seriously, get back aligned with God, bro. Like seriously, because you dropping out was probably one of the best decisions you ever made for this country. <laughs> I'm dead serious. You dropping out is probably the one of the best decisions you made for this country. I mean, we all happy as a country. Like we all happy. You feel me? But yeah, take care of your health, man. Um, and yeah, for all you for Joy Reed and yeah, bro, get that get that race stuff out your head. Stop playing victim, bro. It, it's it, this ain't nothing dealing with race. This is totally opposite of race, okay? But anyways, man, y'all hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notification. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, shout out to Joe Biden for dropping out. You a goat for that one, my bro. You feel me? I respect you for that decision. I respect you. You know what I'm saying? So, shit did that long time ago. But, yeah. Anyways, it's been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.